Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to our third match of the day. Um, and wow, we started this off on a great note. We have our favorite American casting duo here of Juno and iFlame. iFlame, how are you doing tonight? I, I'm doing great. I, I'm just happy to that, you know, us two are probably some of the greatest American uh, casters to ever exist. Yeah, and uh, a, a great American uh, song to uh, start off here. The classic uh, Maryland is gone. Uh, how can Maryland be gone if Maryland is playing in this match? We will never know. It's true, but uh like you mentioned this is our third match of the day and we've had some good ones so far first we had socal knocking new york out of the tournament with a seven to four victory and virginia knocking florida to the losers bracket uh in a seven to three bout virginia of course securing themselves a top two placement and the winner of this match will go on to play uh socal in the next round yeah, we have that potential of the NorCal SoCal um, Losers Grand Finals match, or the second round of finals actually could uh, of Losers Finals. Could we have the potential of NorCal SoCal, or will Maryland be the ones putting the stick in front of um, NorCal to stop them from advancing in this tournament? Um, NorCal. Being the number two seed uh, with their captain, uh, Chess Bananas, of course. We have Window Life, Witchy, Trail Mix, Jackson and Wispy, a pretty solid roster. Yeah, I think Window Life especially has been a really nice addition for NorCal. Um, added some much needed scaling to this team uh, that was already has a ton of uh, really stacked uh, talents. So just adding window life gives them that bit of an extra push to, you know, fight for this top six spot, try and get into the top three here. Uh, window life did play almost every map uh, for NorCal last week, and probably going to be seeing them do the same uh, this time around. But it's just a really stacked uh, lineup for NorCal all around. Really stacked lineup for most teams at this point, but. Norcal especially has a really deep roster here. Uh, Trail Mix, uh, Jackson, Wispy, uh, really just all good players that can fill for their given maps and have their Earth. own uh, skill sets. Now, on the side of Maryland, six seeded team, but possibly one of the more under seeded teams in the tournament. We have got the Captain Batball, Monko 2K, new addition this year, coming over from Washington, or I guess making a return to Maryland. Uh, then we've got Kama, Minus, Kodama, and Costco Hot Dog. Yeah, they've been looking so solid this whole tournament and uh, going to be looking to um, take it up to NorCal here. Uh, we're just waiting for the first warm-up to start. And uh, I, I guess... Uh, oh, okay, there's, uh, there's more players. Huh. Um, okay. But uh, there we go. But uh, on the side of Maryland, um, let's let's just check out the bracket, the bracket to see. They took down um, New Jersey and Washington last weekend. So two other um, quite highly seeded teams that they took down to get to this spot uh, against NorCal and uh, really been just a solid overall team and uh, I love that background. I, I don't, I can't see exactly what's on it, but I love that. Has this yeah. been sort of their staple warm up? Oh, it has. It has been the Maryland warm up go to. Um, Great. You know, there are some teams that have had some pretty banger warm ups. I think Pennsylvania had a good one, of course. Washington has their classic warm up, and Maryland oh. pretty good as well, stepping up their, their warm up game. Um, but I, I think Maryland is kind of similar to uh, NorCal in the sense they previously had a really solid roster already. Uh, and the addition of Monko this year has added some much needed scaling and really pushed them over the edge into this top six spot. Uh, and again, they're gonna be looking for more. And looking back to that bracket, you mentioned them uh, taking out Washington six to one. And this is a Washington team that has historically been very strong uh, in the USC and performed much better than their seed. Taking SoCal, uh, to 
four points back in quarterfinals. So mm -hmm. maybe a sign of what's to come here, but I think this is going to be an interesting one. Both of these two teams have very, they have some very opposed uh, strengths and weaknesses, but they also have quite a few maps that both teams uh, you'd imagine look pretty strong on. And Jackson and Costco Hot Dog both hit those sliders. There's no way. I, 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 I love those sliders. Um, I love when they do that. Um, it, it's just something fun. Um, and uh, it reminds us of our geography and what the state of Maryland looks like. Because, like, as, as a uh, definitely an American, I definitely know what the state of Maryland looks like. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. We, there's, the, there's the state of Maryland. <laughs> yeah, so that Maryland. is what it looks like. Yep, we're uh, learning geography today. Yeah, and uh, of course, um, getting into these last couple of rounds of USC, you really see um, this is one of the biggest scaling tournaments where you really see a big uh, spike in the difficulty of these last two map pools. And uh, here we'll be able to see these two teams display um, how they can scale and how they can really put up some solids and really outstanding scores on these really difficult picks. Yeah, I mean, this honestly feels possibly like one of the closest um, top six, top five now that we have had uh, in USC for possibly the last couple of years. I, I mean, I won't go as far back as the previous uh, USC. I don't remember that far, but, you know, you look back to even last year, there were a couple of teams that made it very far with just one big carry uh, that really brought them through into those later stage rounds, whereas this time around... You look at all these top teams, Virginia, NorCal, um, Maryland, SoCal, and of course, Florida, they all just have really deep rosters. They have a lot of very strong players that can fill in when they're needed, uh, mm -hmm. rather than just being super, super top heavy with one uh, really stacked player. We do see the first band coming out and Maryland did have the first band in there, going to be banning Necrofantasia. This is DT3. This is the uh, old style uh, Lucent uh, 7.8 star um, DT map with a uh, very burst heavy map. So try to take away some tapping elements in the pool. And we have our first band coming from NorCal next. Um, maybe yeah. trying to take away um, a gimmick here map or maybe leaving those up on the board. I would really like to see NorPal ban out some of the aim picks in this pool. Uh, I do like the DT3 ban from Maryland. Yep. NorCal has been the much stronger tapping team throughout the tournament. But on the other side of the tapping coin, you have aim. And let's look at the aim maps from uh, last pool. You had the Nomad 2, HD1, DT2, FM3, all pretty heavy aim maps. Uh, you also mm -hmm. had the Hard Rock 1 and 3, which were uh, also kind of had aim elements, but were less so aim. And Maryland got the top overall score on all six of those maps. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much every aim map in the pool last week, Maryland just top scored it. No problem. Uh, and so I think if you're NorCal looking at that, you have to ban out one of these aim picks, and they're going to be banning out the Nomad 1. So this is going to be the oh, AR 1.7 okay. rating map. and. There's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, both of these two teams over the last two weeks have banned out quite a bit of rating. So while I, I know NorCal outside of player like Chez uh, do not like the rating, I don't think Maryland has really much of a reading roster either. You know, with Fatball and Monko, I mean, not even Monko hasn't really been playing it. It was Kama and Kodama in for these reading picks. Yeah. They don't have the strongest uh, reading, reading roster either. So not sure about this one but we'll see how it plays out yeah maybe if they're going for one of those aim picks maybe a free mod 2 band in the next round might be awaiting us uh maryland looking for their second pan uh, ban here um do they go for a free mod 4 which is the uh quote unquote speed time of speed map um or maybe 
if they want to get rid of more gimmick, maybe Nomad 4 is something that uh, they're looking to get rid of, or um, the other map uh, it, that's uh, tapping heavy would be Hard Rock 3, but that's more of a, a standard stream map as opposed to uh, a uh, speedier uh, tapping map. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to be the no mod four. We have seen Maryland look very good on the precision pick so far. Okay. Uh, would possibly be the free mod free, but no, it's going to be the DT two instead. So, yeah. actually, banning out one of these, uh, it, it is kind of aim, uh, but there are two hundred and eighty eight BPM bursts in there, uh, and the aim is not not massive so maryland yeah. not as advantaged on that as they would like and so i don't dislike this band from maryland at all now we've got the norcal second band costco not happy about the gnome <laughs> on one band uh costco is the reading player one of the reading players yeah. for uh maryland pretty much only plays the reading map so honestly with that band out we're pretty unlikely to see costco in for any maps uh this match so I have to feel for Costco a little bit. Just uh, getting benched by the uh, NorCal bands. It's tragic. I mean, Hidden 2 is still on the board unless uh, it does get banned out here. Uh, seeing two DT3, uh, or seeing two DT maps uh, being banned out by Maryland will say what area NorCal might go and try and um, attack first in the picks. Um, although, some of the DT laps, uh, maps left are not necessarily your conventional DT maps that you would see in uh, any other pool, but uh, I believe we're still waiting on that last ban for SoCal. Yep. Or, uh, I, no, first. NorCal. Sorry. I'm yes. probably going to make that mistake like five times this match. But, yeah. uh, well, but you'll, um, learn, you'll learn by the end of the match, I'm sure. I honestly uh, of would course. love to see a uh, Nomad 5. That's the fast mm, aim. Yeah. Uh, Nomad 4 ban, actually. So it's going to be the precision. That makes a lot of sense as well. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned earlier that Maryland has looked really, really good on the precision. Um, it was comma especially. It's just absolutely it's insane on these really small CS precision picks. Not a player you want to pick that into. And we've got a free mod four pick. I think this is a great pick from NorCal. Honestly, I thought this we would have seen this band out by uh, Maryland. And we might find out why in a second. This is a very speedy mount, 240 BPM. Does have some aim to it, but it is primarily that speed focus. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you're going to be seeing most likely Window Life Trail Mix and, um, and Woodchi coming in here to... Uh, to man this uh, NorCal roster, or actually Jackson also makes a lot of sense. I believe they're on the wrong sides, uh, so they'll have to switch switch sides here. We'll get that sorted out in a second. Yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll let Rob know and, or sorry, K, we'll ping K. All right, and uh, yeah, and this is one of the shorter maps in the pool, uh, only 2 minutes 20, so very fast, but right to the point. Um, hopefully just trying to sort of shake up Maryland here and sort of hit them with a quick one, and uh, and then they, they, they won't know what hit them. Uh, yep, so we're going to see if you've seen uh, Window Light on the Hard Rock for this one. Um... Probably going to be seeing Jackson, uh, of course, that other speed player, as well as Wudzi. I think it's a little bit more likely we do see Jackson uh, on the head, and if I had to guess. And on the other side, it is, of course, going to be uh, Monko on the Nomad, almost almost positively. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, Kamo on the Hard Rock. Kodama on the HD, what we have seen from both these teams' ultimate alignment. It's actually going to be Jackson on the Hard Rock, Wudzi on the Hidden. Yeah, one of the first. Go ahead. I I think this is really to just allow for Window Life to get um, that uh, just be as comfortable as possible so that he can pull out an FC um, or the highest score possible. So getting into the map, 
I do see the first break coming out of Woodsy. Um, actually, very solid accuracy still on the side of Maryland, although we'll have to see how long that lasts for as the bursts get more strenuous and the tapping hands become more tired. Yep. Uh... The comfort for your, you know, big players is going to be really important on a map like this, where it's you're going to see a lot of big combos as there's so much combo in all of these bursts. And then as we get into the second half of the map, even honestly past this quarter, we're going to start seeing a lot more breaks. And if one player can hold on to those big combos on the Ooh. nomad, there goes Kadama on the hidden. That's a big drop. But if you hold on to a really big uh, nomad combo and everybody else drops, you're going to be running away with it. Jackson does trade that miss back from Kadama, so. Things are going to stay even for now, but it is a slight lead for Maryland. Never mind, Kana finds the miss now. And so it's basically two FCs to one. What's he close enough that it's going to be a score going back over to NorCal very, very quickly? Yeah, it's it's the recovery from Woodsy. Um, broke so early. There's another break from Kadama and Monko 2K breaks. And that is right around the halfway part. That is not where you want to see the breaks happening. And uh, Window Life is just running away with this now. Um, 99, that's that's one or two 100s right now for Window Life. Looking so comfortable. This is like, like this guy's used to like playing 9, 10, 11 star maps. Like 7.7 star free mod map, uh, speed map. It's, uh, it's great. Yeah, I mean, look at the accuracy for these players as well. Window Life on the 99.6A. Woodsy was also on the 99.6A before dropping accuracy. Norcal are just so good on this pick, and this is exactly what we meant. Put your good, you know, speed player oh on the no mod. Let them run away with it. Window Life does find the miss, but building up a 1.4K combo just absolutely takes over the lobby. It gets them the win by about 300,000, and Norcal with a very, very solid first pick to put themselves in the lead early on. All right, All right, Maryland does have the next pick. Likely to see them go for something more in focus. Of course, they do have a lot of options left over. Uh, you look towards something like the Nomad 5. Uh, you could even look towards one of... Actually, the Hard Rocks are a little bit rough for Maryland uh, this week. They have been a very, very strong Hard Rock team, especially with Kama, who has just been going off on the Hard Rocks. But... They really prefer those aim focus picks and the hard rocks are much more tapping this week. You've got the finger control uh, tech hard rock 2, the uh, stream hard rock 3, but they're going to go with the hard rock 2 anyways. So not going to be shying away from those hard rock picks. And this one is got a little bit of aim control, a little bit of finger control, a little bit of tech, you know, some of everything throughout the map. Uh, and I think we're going to be looking towards Kama to put up a big score on this one. Yeah, it's... Uh... Generally, you would be seeing your uh, CS 6.5 here, but uh, uh, these these two Hard Rock 2, Hard Rock 3 picks are actually a lot bigger circles. Um, so we'll, this doesn't focus as much on the uh, on the precision, but um, it's it's hard to read. Uh, I, I just sometimes find it hard to read AR-10 on bigger circles. It just it just happens sometimes that um, yep. yeah. So we are gonna see Pochi subbing out for Trail Mix, and we have got Batball and for Kadama. Pretty standard stuff. Now even the start of this map is really really tricky. You've got some kind of jump streams uh, right at the start that. I have a feeling they're gonna catch a lot of people out. This map is pretty tricky the whole way through, but uh, each section tricky in its own way. To me, uh, this beginning section feels like one of the harder ones, but um, we'll see. See where the breaks lie and how many combos get claimed on this first kind of bursty stream section.
very long map as well. Three minutes and 42 seconds. It's just a very long Hard Rock pull overall this week. Uh, every map being over three minutes. And I think Maryland and Kama especially are going to be very happy with that. Kama will hopefully get a chance to show off some of that Hard Rock consistency. Jackson finds an early miss. To, oh, never mind. That's Spawn Show. So no early misses. And I think we're going to start to see a couple misses very quickly. Here we go. Yeah, these okay. cut sections are so tricky. And you see Jackson starting to... Uh, chain miss quite a bit. Window life is oh them oh my goodness. Trail mix just missed an entire section of burst, and uh, that is just very unfortunate. When you get the slightest bit off, you can miss 10, 15 notes in a row, and this is going quite in favor. We do see Monko 2K actually still holding on to the FC through that first cut section, yep. having about oh, 200k lead here. Yeah, and this is going to be really big for Maryland. The next kind of tricky section is going to be a little bit more finger control focused. Uh, and while it is still tricky, Monko, it's definitely the kind of thing that Monko can hit. And look at the accuracy. No, NorCal missed so much on that kind of jump stream section that the accuracy is just falling apart. And so it's also really factored in. Kama does find a big chain miss, but it's not going to be nearly enough. The NorCal combos are not big enough to match Monko right now. And they're gonna need Monko to miss soon. Trail Mix finds a miss though. Yeah, Kama does find another break as well, resetting that combo. Do see the two bottom combos on uh, on NorCal going to be growing up, but there they go. Actually, it's it's gonna be Monko just running away with this, still holding onto the FC over halfway through the map now. I did see another break from Batball and Kama as well, so. But they're still holding on to this healthy 300, just over 300k lead coming into the last third of the map. Yep, and last section of this map is the tech section, and Monko is so, so good on these tech picks. Monko could just run away with this one, and honestly, it might be over already. There's just no combos on Narcal, only a quarter of the map to go. And these tech section, uh, after we get into this kind of weird first part, it's going to be mostly sliders. It's going to be hard to build up a lot of combo. We've got misses from Trail Mix and Jackson, and that's going to be it. Maryland take the point, and they're going to tie things up one to nothing. Can Monko get through this last tech section is the question. Yeah, Kama also performing well through this last section, building up a good combo for themselves. And it's, it's just, oh, he does slider break. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Monko. Uh, but it's over 700k. This is just a dominating victory on their first pick. Yep, and I think this is what we're going to see uh, for the at least the first few picks of this mm -hmm. match, right? Um, both teams have their picks that they are pretty heavily, uh, heavily favored on. Uh, and so probably for each team's first two, hopefully, I'd imagine three picks, we might see some very decisive victories unless one of these teams can manage to surprise us, which is very, very possible, has happened many times, and that is why we play the matches. Yeah, one to one. NorCal with the next pick. Do they go back to another tapping heavy map? Um, after DT2, three have been uh, banned and uh, Fremont 4 has been picked. The next highest non DT BPM is the hidden three, which uh, is on the tapping heavy side, but um, not at, it's not as fast as, uh, as the previously played no free mod four. Yeah, the hidden three is really tricky though, because it does get very, very tapping heavy into the second half of the map. The first yeah. half of that map has some really, really big jumps in there that oh, okay. could catch out NorCal. So it, it is kind of a very divisive map. You get some big jumps with a, a couple bursts into the first half of the map, and then the second half of the map, you really get those uh, trickier streams. But I think that might be big, too big of a risk for NorCal early on. Um, we could possibly... It's tough. Not, we could see them go for something like the Hard Rock 3, something... I like the free mod one where there's more streamier picks, but they have shied away from the hard rock. Maryland has been really good at the hard rock, and so 
I think Hard Rock 2 is an unnecessary risk this early on. Free mod 2, uh, sorry, free mod 1, uh, a little bit more likely, but they do have picks outside of that. Generally, the DTs are just going to look really solid for them. Yeah, just waiting for NorCal's pick here. Um, we're looking to see something that they can do really well on here. As you said, like, these first couple of picks, uh, we'd be really surprised to see break points this early on, uh, just because we are actually going to be seeing Free Mod 1, so we are going to see Dawn of the Dragon Star. And uh, this is the uh, Glory Days Part 2. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Uh, you can. I mean, honestly, you can say anything you want as long as you do not mention alt in front of data we are we're gonna be our, we're gonna be okay okay great um i can do that <laughs> and this of course is going to be your 175 bpm alt free mod by the way <laughs> <laughs> i love uh, that no. <laughs> no this is just gonna be the this is the stream focus pick uh, I have to correct myself before Dada comes into the call personally to uh, pick us off. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it's actually so I, I I really like seeing this map in this slot because I remember last year in USC finals um, there was a Fremont map that was a voice in the dark which is like a six minute stream map. And the, th this I feel like is sort of this year's version of having a voice in the dark in the pool. Yeah, thankfully it's not quite as long. It's only yeah. three and a half minutes. So, you know, players are not uh, destroying their hands for, for six minutes straight, but the mods are very much expected for both teams. Mm. What we have seen, uh, all tournament long, uh, so no surprises here. And honestly, I do think Maryland has a solid roster for this, um, but do worry a little bit uh, about the kind of team as a whole. You know, I don't think anybody's gonna look especially bad, but it's gonna be tough to match a player like Chael Mix, uh, who is so, so good at these stream picks. Even Window Life has had some really impressive streaming scores. And uh, Jackson mm -hmm. Nomad is going to have a little bit of an easier time with this as well. So that's going to be the challenge here. As it's a pretty slow start to the map, but uh, as we get farther and farther into the map, we get a little bit more challenging streams. So I expect to see more frequent combos as the map goes on. And we should see players having an easy enough time uh, for at least the first quarter of the map. Yeah, it's really going to come down to these modded scores. There goes Trail Mix on the hidden. It's going to be dropping on uh, just one of the uh, one of the less complicated streams, I would say, before we get into the first key eye with the more spaced out streams, Kadama's gonna find a miss on the hidden. So both the hiddens have missed so far. And uh, both these hard rock scores going pretty hard here. Uh, there goes window life though. I, I shan't talk about the other hard rock score now, um, but the no mods also just looking Looking solid through that first ki as expected. Um, nothing really too uh, out out of the ordinary for them. This map is actually deceptively tough uh, on the head end, so I'm not surprised to see the two hidden players breaking early. Um, some of those spaced streams, because of the in control requirement uh, on this stream pick, can be really tough to follow. Uh, especially when you get into the later parts of this map, you see a lot more of those uh, those spacing in the stream. So. We'll see if either of the hidden players can hold on. They've both recovered really well since then. And now it's just Monko and Kama taking on Jackson. And it's a big lead for Maryland, but there's a lot of map left to be played. There's a better way to go. And the hard this is the hardest Ooh. part. Monko finds a miss. That is one FC gone for Maryland. Now it's one FC on each side. Accuracy right now is just insane for Maryland. The Ooh, window goes, life. Oh my gosh. Kodama. That's both FC's gone for Maryland. Now it's Kodama fending off trail mix, but it is Jackson all alone with the full combo on the Nomad. Oh, Kodama there goes Kodama. No combo left on Maryland. Jackson trail mix are going to bring this one back. There's so much time left. If they can hold on to their combos through the last quarter of this map, they're going to be in a really good spot, but this ending is really tricky. Trail mix cannot afford to miss. Window life miss does not matter whatsoever. Kama oh, finds another miss. Yeah, that big miss from Kama there is what shot the score over to the side of NorCal and Jackson 
just looking so strong 99.71 window light finding some more breaks to keep it a little bit more even but it's not going to be enough kodama and monko 2k do not have enough combo to bring this back at the end especially with uh going into the last uh ki still no breaks from trail mix or jackson it's trail mix had the little oopsie at the beginning but there goes jackson oh, oh. I, I don't think this is going to be enough. There goes Trail Mix as well. Kama has 450 combo, but it's 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 not going to be enough with all those misses from Kadama and Kama. And there it is. Another point for NorCal on the board. You got you to gotta give props to Jackson and Trail Mix for holding on for so long. Uh, Jackson holding the FC 1960 combo through. But it's just not enough for Maryland to try and get their first break point. Yeah, the, the Nomad scores for both teams are so important. These players should have a bit of an easier time, of course, uh, on the map. And so it is the Nomad player for NorCal putting up the big score for them, getting them the point. But, I mean, great point for NorCal. But I have to call out Kama on the Hard Rock, almost hitting the entire ending with the ninety, nearly 98 accuracy uh on the hard rock is just so absurd on this map the yeah. spacing with hard rock is so brutal into the ending i mean window life had uh 94 accuracy at the end of this map this is not a bad hard rock accuracy on this map at all comma is just so insane on some of these hard rock picks um hence why we may see maryland just look towards some of these hard rocks later into the map um when they need them but they're gonna go for the free mod three before that and this is going to be a tech mix so Maryland really feeling the tech today. Yeah, uh, they did so well on the uh, Hard Rock 2 being a Hard Rock tech map that um, Kama should have no problems with this on Hard Rock. Um, I'm expecting Monko will still be their, so their um, steady Nomad player, then Batball, I guess, coming in and playing the hidden here. Uh, we do see the first appearance of Wispy on the side of NorCal. Um, Wispy coming in to play the no mod or hidden? Uh, could possibly play the hidden, but uh, most likely that's still going to be trail mix. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. We do have Monko uh, 2k in the lobby for High Rock. And this is a really interesting pick because NorCal throughout this tournament, I feel, has looked really good on the tech picks uh, as a whole. I know maybe my guess is that Maryland have practiced this and they just have three, you know, really solid scores on this one and uh, feel are just feeling really confident on the pick. But this is one I feel like NorCal can definitely put up a challenge on. We are waiting for the last player. I would I would have guessed that's going to be Window Life. There it is, yeah. Window Life in for the Hard Rock free mod. And I think you're right. It just should just be Wispy on the on the no mod here. Yeah. And uh, getting into the uh, free mod two now. Uh, I hmm, I thought about Trail Mix HDHR for two seconds and then I took that back because he's just on the hidden. Because they do need a flat out hidden player. Yeah, actually. It was a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Monko has consistently taken the no mod uh, on these free mod picks. Just they, Maryland loves to put Monko. On that no monk, give Monk a little bit easier time with the map so Monko can try and put up a big score. But, um, you know, back to the map a little bit. This is, uh, there, there are a few tech picks in the pool, and this is going to be one of the easier ones uh, mechanically because it is in the free mod pool. Mm -hmm. uh, so it does have to be balanced around the fact that, um, you know, one player needs hidden on it, one player needs hard rock, which means this is the kind of map that the no monk players could put up some solid combos on compared to the other tech pick. Uh, it is still a very difficult pick. But. Of We'll see how it goes, and I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on both the Nomad players, because this kind of thing is really brutal on Hard Rock, Ooh. really brutal on Hidden, and we've seen a few, whisk from, a few misses sorry, from Wispy, who's at 96% accuracy. That is going to be a tongue twister. Kama Trail Mix do trade. And yeah, we all... Oh, we also see another break from Bat Ball coming out. Um, it is slightly in favor for Maryland here. Um, Window Life actually going to be finding a break on the Hard Rock here. Um, so going to be matching Kama. It's just Monko 2K still holding on to the full combo here. Um, into 
this is also a very short map. They are two thirds of the way through here. So uh, if Monko can keep holding on to this, his score is going to shoot up and um, Wispy trying to recover the best they can and Trail Mix also recovering, but being matched by Kama and Batball getting into the last little bit of the map. There goes Monko. They're going to start to bring this one back. Window Life and Trail Mix have a bit of recovery combos. There goes Window Life though. Common drops as well. Now it's just Trail Mix. The score lead is so small. Trail oh Mix finds the miss as well. It's a full reset on everybody except for Monko. It's going to be really close. 70,000 points, but we're probably going to need to see Chain Misses out of Maryland into the ending. I don't think it's going to be enough. Comet finds a big miss on the Wiggle Slider, but Window Life drops as well. And with that, it will be a point for Maryland by 100,000. Could have been close if Nor NorCal had been able to hold on to 100 more combos somewhere, but an unfortunate triple reset for them right before the end of that map is going to mean Maryland secures their point, keeps this one all tied up, and match is going about as we expected uh, so far. And if I had to guess, I think we're going to see one more uh, solid pick from both of these teams. You know, I imagine NorCal and Maryland are both going to be taking their next points. But after the third picks, I think the pick uh, options, the pool availability becomes a lot thinner for both teams, and that might be where we start to see a couple of break points on the map. We'll start to get more interesting, but in the meantime, of course, NorCal do have to find a pick. I could see them going for something like the HD1. It is the tech, uh, mm -hmm. which is a little bit scary uh, because Maryland, of course, has won the two tech-focused picks with the Hard, hard Rock 2. Uh, and now that free mod three, but uh, NorCal has been really good on the hidden, whereas Maryland haven't picked a lot of the hidden maps. And this is more uh, aim control uh, tech on that uh, on that hidden one rather than the pure tech that you see out of the free mod three. So it is an option for them. Uh, definitely not like a, a clear favorite pick or anything. I, I do think they have a few options, but that's an idea. Yeah, shoutouts to Monko 2 k for getting an S rank on uh, on that free mod two pick or free mod three pick. Um, yeah, pulling out Ooh. the top score in the lobby on that. Okay, do we ever see the no mod two pick here? 160 no EPM space stream map for NorCal. That would be. Wait, I thought this was an alt map. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. All right. It's it's a space 160 BPM space streams. Um, hidden three. They're going to be picking the uh, AR10 uh, uh, faster. Um, we were we were talking about how this uh, this map has both sides of the aim and the tapping. The first half having more aim, but getting into those 218 BPM tapping sections uh, would be. Uh, an advantage to North NorCal. Yeah, and I mean, this is actually a really interesting thing that I feel like doesn't get talked about a lot because you don't see these kind of maps uh, super often that are like, you know, one half game and one half much more streamy. But, um, you know, the one worry here is the kind of early aim section for NorCal. But even then, if we see Maryland get an early advantage on the uh, aim section, uh, which we might expect, we do expect NorCal to start to make a comeback on the streamier section. and. There's a lot more combo in that stream section. So you, if you're feeling good about that stream section, you can actually build up so much combo so much quicker than you could in the first half of the map. So I could potentially play into the favor of NorCal. Uh, we do see what she coming back in here. Jackson as well. Uh, we've got Kodama in, and I imagine it's probably going to be Kama in as the last player for Maryland. Kama or Batball maybe because Batball's been their uh, hidden player for um, their free mod picks. So, uh, but also we do see Kama stepping back in. So, I guess we will be seeing Kama here. Why is this? Why is this hidden three? Exactly. Why isn't huh. this hidden three? Like, who said that pooling needed rules? Yep. You can just I pool maps. Exactly. It's just so much more fun this way. It keeps things interesting. You don't have the same uh, cookie cutter pools with slight variations every week, but uh, Kama, no surprise, traditionally known as more of a hard rock uh, aim player and 
really, really excels on that skill slot, but last week played every single map for Maryland and did put up some really good performances, even on some of these hidden maps that are not traditionally a uh, common skill set. And I've been really impressed by Comet throughout this whole tournament. So i uh, going to look towards Comet, see what they can do. Of course, NorCal have a very strong roster for this. And we do see the aim uh, early on, but the aim is honestly nothing crazy. You see the speed and Monko 2K is the first to drop, drops a ton of accuracy, hundreds everywhere down to 90%. Kama is on 96 as well. And there goes Kadama. I mean, it's really early, but that is really tough for Maryland. That was their high accuracy combo that they needed to hold on to. Kama's uh, combo is good, but not worth quite as much as Kadama's could have been. Mm. Kama and Jackson trading are is going to be great for NorCal because they've still got two SCs and there's just nothing on the side of Maryland as Kadama finds another miss. And I mean, forget the aim section. NorCal are winning right out of the gate. All it took is that one speed section in the map and Maryland just no combos left. Yeah, Window Life and Woodshe are are really pulling it through here for NorCal. Um, yeah, Monko 2K is building back up, but um, had so many accuracy drops. We're going to be seeing if he drops the accuracy again here. Is actually looking very good on this stream. Just finds two 100s at the end of it. And we see lots of misses from Woodshe on the aim. Window Life misses as well. Is there an opening here? We see Kodama with just under 300 combo. Monko 2K building up to 500 combo with the top combo in the lobby. It's 240,000, 230,000. Um, there is, we're only at halfway through and there goes Jackson. There's a real possibility that this can come back. It's going to go over so slowly, but can Monko 2K bring this over? Kodama also building up a combo. Uh, Kama being matched by Woodshi and Window Life. It, Kodama does find a miss. That was the, that was the supporting combo that needed to stay. Can Monko still bring this over? I mean, Monko is going to bring it back very slowly, oh, but this is a scary part you. for Monko. The engine of this map, like I've said so many times, is so, so speedy. We saw Monko fall apart on that first burst section. This time, not getting claimed by the burst, but this is the tricky one. This is where you have to watch Monko. Oh, comma. But Monko nails it. That's a big combo. Yeah. It now was Kama that dropped so much on that on that speedier section, so it's going to take just a little bit more, and here's the last one. Monko finds the miss, oh. I think that's going to be it. Window Life Jackson hold on to their combos, and that should be the point for NorCal. If Monko held on through that last burst section, it probably would have been enough, but unfortunately not the case, and speed just too much for Maryland on this one. Yeah, there was that slight chance for Monko 2K to bring it back, but unfortunately it was not meant to be, and it's NorCal taking their pick once again. We've seen these uh, teams trading both of their picks, um, and it's 3-2 to two for NorCal. Maryland going to be stepping up with their next pick, and... Uh, Hoping to bring this back to three to three. Um, and I would be surprised if uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw uh, Nomad Five come out here, or maybe um, Nomad Five, Fremont Two, uh, or maybe the Hidden One that we were talking about earlier. They have been really favoring those tech maps, so. Um, could be seeing a hidden one come out here. Yep. I really like the Nomad 5 that you mentioned that is the fast aim map and they absolutely dominated the fast aim picks. You know, uh, I mean, there are things like the Hard Rock 1, Hard Rock 3, Maryland top score that had very few picks on it. Both of the fast aim, like really fast aim maps last week each had, I think, seven or eight plays and Maryland top score both of them regardless. They're a terrifying uh, team. Maybe not as confident on this one because of course this is much higher uh, skill cap, much harder aim than the previous rounds. Uh, and so there are some questions about how comfortable Maryland feels uh, with the scaling on this uh, aim pick. And so HD1 is an idea because of the tech, but Hidden is risky into NorCal who, uh, NorCal who do like to go for the Hidden. You have uh, Window Life who has been a hard rock player for them, but can play the hidden mm. as well. You know, you've got uh, Trail Mix, who is so, so good on the hidden. 
And that's scary. Uh, I think Maryland does struggle a little bit to find a third HD player. Mm. They've got Kodama, Kama, who play it well. They've got Bapa. Uh, and it's usually those three on the head end, but... Oh, it's going to be DT1? Yeah, this is another techier map. Uh, very slider-focused. Um, uh, Air 10.4. Uh, which I don't think honestly does uh, does much uh, in terms of how they play the map, but uh, yeah, uh, we are actually going to be seeing Chess Bananas coming into the lobby for the uh, first time. Uh, looks like we're going to be waiting for Woodchi to come back in, um, or maybe Chess Bananas is just coming in to see. Uh, I mean. Uh to be clear, Chez is uh, on NorCal, so uh, Chez should be switching shot slots shortly. Uh, we've got Batball Monko in the lobby. I expect the last player likely going to be Kama. Um, again, Kama has been in for every map last week. I would be surprised if it's any different uh, this week. On the other side for NorCal, I'm thinking something like a Chez uh, trail mix and Possibly window life as the third. Okay, there's window life. Mm -hmm. Can we get a? Probably there yeah. Well, there's Woodchi. Yeah, Woodchi's yeah. back. Okay, interesting. So they're gonna offer Woodchi instead of Chez. This makes a lot more sense to me because mm -hmm. Chez has really only played uh, raiding for NorCal. Uh, what Woodchi has looked good on some of these DT picks. Uh, more of the aim focused DT picks actually. Yeah, and Kama gonna be uh, rounding out Maryland's lineup here. Not surprised by that at all. Getting into the uh, very short, just a minute and 14 seconds uh, blink and you're gonna miss it. Uh, DT1 pick here. Yep. Uh, there's a lot going on in this map as well. Yeah. It is really tricky because of how short it is. The patterns are really tough. And so, you know, blink and you're going to miss a note as well. Trail Nix has already missed twice. And there goes Window Life now. Does trade it by Kama and Batball. So things are going to be relatively even. But the accuracies, that's what you have to look at. There is mm -hmm. not much accuracy on either side, but the 92 for Batball mm -hmm. and 93 for Kama are going to be keeping Maryland in favor for now. What she has now found a couple misses. Common Dreads traded back. It's Monko 2k fending off trail mix. A window and bat ball trading. We're already halfway through the map. This ending is so tough. If Monko can hold on, this could just be a point for Maryland. The score gap is actually really big now. Accuracies are just yeah. falling apart for Monko. Oh, there, there goes trail mix. Yeah, Batball Monko. Trade, but Monko is too far ahead of window life. 200 combo is all you need on this map and should be a point for Maryland. Yeah, I believe this, um, no, there's, no, Monko missed at the beginning, question mark? Yes, yes, Monko okay, is yeah, not yeah, enough. That's what I thought, that's what I thought, um, but just a slider break. Wait, uh, what? It's 91 accuracy, wait a minute. Did, um, did Monko miss at the start? I don't Maybe think not. so. FC! Wow, okay. <laughs> I believe so, actually. Um, pretty sure. I'm sure we'll, we'll get confirmation th from somebody. We can get the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> someone, someone clip it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but you uh, know what? For now, let's just, uh, let's just say that's an FC for uh, Mongo yeah. because we can, and uh, nobody can tell us otherwise. Yeah, also, uh, Kama really bringing up the score there, getting 95%. Where like the next highest accuracy was 92, kind of insane. Monko did miss at the start. Oh, thanks. Darn. Ah, man, our our joy has been ruined. But that's fine. It is okay. Not not as how it goes. Um, but yeah, right. the accuracy was huge. Uh, it is really understated how big of a factor the accuracy is on a map like that, where the accuracy is just all over the place. Uh, and when you're 5% accuracy ahead of everybody else on the opponent's uh, side, you're, that's just an extra probably 100,000 points for you. Uh, and so Maryland looking good. And we've got the Nomad 5 Ooh. pick for NorCal. Uh, this is not a pick I expected for them. This is just straight up fast aim map that Maryland has looked incredible on. And I'm, I, I hope NorCal is going to prove me wrong here, but... This is a pick I really would have expected from Maryland. I 
don't don't see the idea behind yeah. it. Yeah, I think what they're really going for here is that this is a like this is the highest star rating map in the pool. Maybe they're just banking on just being slightly less skill capped on this type of map. Although, like, Maryland can definitely play this. They definitely do have the skill cap to play this. But maybe uh, Nor NorCal just trying to bank on Window Life to put up an insane score here. Window Life is a fantastic aim player as well as tapping player. So um, could be seeing uh, Window Life trying to put up a, a big score here to bring NorCal um over top of Maryland on this pick. Yeah, that, that could be the angle. Window Life, very likely the highest skill cap player uh, on these aim, aim picks, and so that could be it. Uh, I We'll see. Uh, Monko 2K, <laughs> obviously, very, very experienced tournament player, and not sure will be uh, stopped by the high, you know, high star rating, but these are some very, very big jumps. Uh, we did actually see um, both teams missing on the HD one jumps, which are somewhat similar in, in difficulty, but of course you have the HD there, which uh, a lot of players, uh, such as Window Life and uh, you know Monko Kama, don't particularly like to play. So I do think those three players, uh, in particularly, are going to have an easier time with these jumps. And Minus coming in this time, this is really interesting. Minus, for the most part, we've only seen playing the Hard Rock picks for Maryland, but now in for the fast aim. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Over yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to see if Minus can put up a, a solid score here. See, see, okay, but you could also say that in a degree that this is an alt map. Look at these alt patterns. Yeah, it, it is 252, I believe, which is comes out to like something uh, 125, roughly. It should be 126, uh, which is kind of approaching alt. I think, as you can see, most players are going to be single tapping this, but <laughs> it is bordering yeah. on alt with comma and trail mix alternating. We did see an early miss from minus, but accuracy is solid from minus, and so probably just an unlucky miss there. Uh, and comma doing what comma does best. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you never know. First, first map nerves coming in uh, might might not be as. Um warm in the lobby as you want it to be but uh gonna be recovering just just fine here yeah and honestly this one you are going to see very quickly as we get into the bigger jumps there is no alt uh whatsoever in the ki sections of this map there are maybe small patterns in easier sections but it's it's so easy that Ooh, nobody should miss the the life misses on nothing what Right before oh my gosh! Jackson oh fell. my Everybody gosh! Everybody's gone from NorCal. Monko finds the miss, traded back, but Minus is on the recovery. Kama hits it. So good on the aim. I mean, the accuracy is still insane for Kama. Oh. And Nail's one of the harder patterns in the map. There goes Minus, but Kama is doing it alone right now. 40,000 score lead from Maryland, and it is on Kama. How far can Kama push this score lead? That is the question, but this map is so hard. Into the next... Kama hits it again! Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Kama. Ka Kama's going insane here. That that was just they they all just died right before the ki started and gonna be getting into the second verse and uh, Kama looking solid here did break the uh, the the funny accuracy but uh, was hey, is, is, yeah it's still solid coming into the second verse here. It's and, big. It was oh. a four-way trade. Two misses on both sides, but yeah. NorCal lost their two big recovery combos. Those were the two combos that were trying to slow the bleeding a little bit against Kama. Kama versus Jackson is, I mean, not even a competition. Kama is just blowing everybody out of the water right now. Uh, what is Kama doing on this pick? Uh, Kama is uh, going mode. That, that... <laughs> oh, and then... Okay, I... Misses on uh, the slider, uh, nails all the aim section. There goes Jackson. That is now that was the highest combo for NorCal, yeah. and NorCal not able to build up any combos. This was the concern for NorCal going into this pick. They just cannot consistently hit these really tricky aim patterns, especially at this speed. And 
you look at Kama going off so good at this fast aim, uh, and even Monko minus are on solid scores, Ooh. matching the scores of Window Life Jackson, and it is just nearly a full reset across the board here. There are a couple players that hold Window Life, Monko, Kama, and that's going to be perfectly fine for Maryland, honestly, as long as Window Life doesn't, you know, FC the rest of the map and Kama, Monko, you know, have their tablets disconnect uh, yeah. with a quarter of the way to go, then they're looking in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Jackson just finding these uh, occasional intermittent misses is really hurting NorCal here. And uh, do you see Window Life and Monko now, the two highest combos there matching each other? But it's Kama. Oh, but there goes Monko. Uh, it's. This is still within reach. There's about a six of the map left. And yeah. uh, Minus missed as well right before this last Kiai coming in here. Window Life has 700 combo. Trail Mix, 300 combo. There's about a hunt, just 120,000. There goes Kama missing so much. Kama found about 10 misses there, but Window Life missed as well. So yep. I I don't think there's enough at this point. Minus it's going and back. There's, there's Combo on Trail Mix and Jackson. They're both at 400. Oh. Everybody is gone from Maryland. It's going to be really close. The the map is really long. You know, the, the, the circle is really slim, but there's a deceptive amount of time left in this map. It's going back over ever so slowly, but... I don't think there's any tricky patterns left in this map. It is really just a slow section. We shouldn't see any more misses. And no. I, I don't think it's going to be enough. It could be close. Oh, oh, the last. Oh, OK, I, I thought slider that was miss? the end of the map. <laughs> Sli slider full miss? Yeah, no. imagine the, the three-way uh, slow slider miss from Maryland <laughs> to give the point over at the last second. <laughs> Even even if that happened, I don't think it would have uh, cost them sixty thousand points. No, pro no probably no. not. <laughs> Listen, uh, we we can dream. You gotta you gotta pretend things things are close. But this is the first break point of the match, and this is gonna be the big one. And I mean, this is kind of what I was expecting, right? Like we said, yeah. first three points for each team, pretty solid. Outside of that, the picks get a lot harder. Um, and we do see a break point now. But to be honest, I still really dislike this pick for NorCal. This is one I could have seen Maryland very easily picking uh, much earlier mm -hmm. on uh, in one of their top three picks. So uh, I'm really curious where NorCal go from here in their future picks. But of course, we do have Maryland uh, picking next, and they're going to look to put themselves in a two-point lead uh, for the first time this match. They do not want to give this breakpoint back over. Yeah, and you got to... Go back to the map pool. You guys see what aim is left in here. I've been pointing out this Fremont 2 map as sort of a uh, more consistent aim map. Uh, 210 BPM, but really more focusing on the aim. Um, other maps for aim. Yep, going to be BP4 yeah. though. And uh, this okay. is actually uh, an alt map, so... Uh, it is yeah. 363 BPM, I believe mapped to about 123, but uh, yeah. with the DT, the AR 10.3, it feels quite a bit faster than the, uh, you know, 123 that it, it is. So we could see a couple players single tapping, but shouldn't be for the most part. This time we are mm. going to have uh, Monko in, of course, for this. Um, that ball, possibly, uh, we should be seeing uh, Kama in as the third. And... Uh, yeah, I do think back, bat ball third uh, makes a lot of sense here. Trail mix Jackson, uh, probably window life. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably just waiting for Common to come back in on the side of Maryland. Um, yeah, this being a, an evil Elvis map um, and it also being an alt map is more on the awkward side of alt maps. So interesting seeing it in DT and how how that affects how the players play this map. Yeah, it's a really long map left. as well. At yeah. three minutes and twenty one seconds, um, not super typical for the DT pool. Tend to see a lot of shorter maps, but this one's going to be very long, and it's actually a fairly consistent pick, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are some tricky patterns, but there's no. There's not many crazy uh, massive difficulty spikes that you expect to see half the lobby uh, missing on. So 
Uh, it's just going to come down to who can hold on to those accuracies, who can build up those bigger combos and be the more consistent team. We'll see if Maryland can consolidate this break point. Here we go. Yeah, a little bit of a relaxed opening here, but once the map starts, they are going to be going. They're going to be going somewhere. We don't know where. Well, it's actually just to, to build up the nerves a little bit and uh, kill everybody's accuracies, apparently, except for Kama, who just is so good uh, at everything accuracy like if Jackson mm. is going to find the first miss, but this map is so long, it shouldn't be a huge factor. Uh, Jackson has another miss, though. Uh, hope to see Jackson recover. does start to get a little bit worrying when you see a ton of misses uh, in the opening, but possibly just getting the nerves out as well. Uh, Ooh, Monko, Monko finds the miss now as well. Uh, and especially going from the uh, Nomad to AR 10.3 can take a bit of adjustment as Batball is going to be the next miss for Maryland. And it is two FCs to one, but a quarter of the way into the map means the score is going to uh, go over to the side of NorCal very, very slowly and uh, not going to be a massive point lead for now unless we see Kama find the miss. But Kama has been so, so solid all match long. It is Window Life Trail mix versus Kama. Jackson has a really good recovery too. Jackson Ooh. Trill Mix find the miss. Now it's Window yeah. versus Kama. Maryland have the supporting combos, and the score should go back over if Maryland can hold on. Trail Mix finds yet another miss, and accuracy drops for yeah. both Jackson and Trail Mix are going to flip that score over. Yeah, Kama's holding on to 2% higher accuracy, or 1.5% one, one higher. There goes Window Life, actually. I was just going to say that the accuracy alone on the side of Kama is going to bring it over, but Kama also finds a miss. It's a full reset except for Monko 2K here, who's built up 650 combos. So this is going to be going over to the side of Maryland. This is looking like a really good pick for them. And uh, yeah, just halfway through the map. Again, a very long DT map. Jackson fights another break. Bat ball trades it back. So it's going to be uh, nullified scores there. And um, yeah, it's just how long can Monko start running away with this? Window Life and Jackson find another break. It's just Trail Mix with Combo on the side. Jackson is really struggling with this middle section here. Is yeah. it going to be it? Can oh, Monko 2K go? I, I oh! Was going to say it. it feels like everything is on Trail Mix. There goes Window Life as well. And th there is quite a bit of time left in this map, but now there's just no combo. Monko Ooh. does find the miss. That's the big combo down, but it was a full reset from NorCal right before the slow section. and. There's a quarter of the map, but I just don't know if they have the time. It is 250,000 points advantage for Maryland. Monko does find another miss, but we're going to need to see some massive chain misses from all of the Maryland players, but it's Window Life and Ooh. Trail Mix who continue to find misses, and that is going to be the map. Maryland do consolidate their point, and they're going to be up 5-3 to three now against NorCal. Yeah, uh, they're looking solid in this match. Kama going to be holding on to the highest combo. But it's that big combo from Monko 2K in the middle of the map that really uh, pulled Maryland across the finish line here. And uh, going to be, uh, as you said, consolidating the break point, going up 5-3. to three. Back to NorCal's pick, though. They need to find a map that they can really perform on and um, that they're able to try and uh, bring this back here. And interestingly enough, Nomad 5 was kind of the last map in the pool that I felt really favored Maryland. Uh, so I do think for the next picks, uh, Maryland is not going to have really any maps to go to that they feel very heavily uh, advantaged on. Uh, so I expect the last few maps of this match to be a lot closer, and that is where NorCal are going to look to take a break point back in Maryland's next two picks, assuming they can win their own. That is the key. NorCal... Cannot give up another break point. Putting Maryland on break point on their own pick would be a disaster, but it's not easy to find a pick. Um, there is still the Nomad 2, but that is just a crazy 160 BPM space stream. Really, really tricky map. Um, I do think Trail Mix and Window Life could look really good on it, but uh, it, it's tough for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, NorCal picking now. Um, I'm talking about how they're more solid on the reading. Or actually, both of these teams not really. They have one or two players. We do see the Hard Rock three. So this is uh, one of those maps that I feel is one of the last 
sort of tapping picks that they have, this being the more um, stream-focused and flowing-focused um, hard rock pick. Um, again, bigger circle CS 4.68 on this map. Yeah, this is a really scary pick for NorCal. Uh, I do think it was one of the better picks they had left open, but picking Hard Rock streams into Monko 2K and Kama is yeah. always a very, very <laughs> scary prospect. Uh, was she back in? Very solid Hard Rock player as well as a stream player. Uh, minus in is the third Hard Rock player yep. for Maryland. Uh, curious to see how uh, Minus will do on the kind of more stream heavy pick. I don't think we've seen, uh, you know, too much, uh, too many super stream heavy Hard Rock picks. Uh, I guess there was Tears of Tragedy last week. Uh, that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> But here we go. I mean, so far, you look back to what Kama was able to do on that streamy free mod pick on the hard rock, showed no fear on the streams, even the really spaced ones, and looking to do the same again. This yeah. was the worry, though. Minus does find some early drop and is really struggling on the accuracy as well. 92% early on, whereas everybody else in the lobby, 98 or above. So uh, Minus should recover back up to around that 96, 97 mark. But if we do see more big accuracy drops, then that could play a big part in North Carolina getting to this point. But again, this is another fairly long one, and we're going to see a lot of breaks throughout. So it's Monko 2K, the next to miss, and North Carolina are going to be feeling pretty good early on. Yeah, they're going to be taking a 40, 50 point lead and getting into the larger streams. You do see a break from Kama, so that's every combo on Maryland that's broke already into this first key eye, into the first quarter of the map. Uh, Minus now recovering with the 500 combo, but we still see the three FCs rolling here on the side of NorCal over 700 combo and they do hit uh, that entire um, That entire key eye section minus and Monko did drop right at the end of it So this is looking like a really solid pick. We do see a break from Jackson, but uh, Still the two FCs on the side of NorCal looking like a really solid pick for them here. Yeah, I mean, that's just an absurd performance from NorCal. I mean, yes, it's on the players you expect to be good on the Hard Rock stream picks for them, but uh, holding an FC halfway into this map is really tricky. This is not an easy map by any means. How long can they hold the combos? I mean, the longer it goes, the more light drains out of Maryland's, uh, Maryland sales here. I don't know, I didn't make any Ooh, sense. There goes Witchy. There goes Witchy. There's still window life, and as long as they have window life, nothing else really matters. Uh, it does start to get very scary if Jackson finds a miss because then you've got... Okay, there goes Jackson. Uh, okay. And now it's three big combos on the side of Maryland that are going to start to bring this one back. Window Life's combo on its own is not enough. Okay, Monko 2K is going to stop the bleeding. Now the combos are roughly even. Slight edge to NorCal, I believe, because uh, the FC is worth a little bit more than if you yeah. have missed. Yeah, it is uh 250k thousand lead there goes oh, minus oh my what? okay on okay what? that that is i mean as long as window life keeps holding on there's nothing maryland can do right now um even with the good recoveries here from jackson and woodchie jackson does find a miss but it's just window life going here woodchie is gonna find another break but there's no combos on the side of maryland to uh allow for any type of comeback and this lead has ballooned to over three almost four hundred thousand here um coming into the last um they're going to be going into the last uh ki section very soon and uh where these streams get really spaced out oh my gosh jackson does find another break but it's it just matter. oh it, it doesn't matter monko 2k breaks right. oh my gosh a little bit of the map to go. We cannot say the name. Nobody else matters. Uh, but the one player. And uh, man, I am, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. Nah, nah, he's got this. Oh, Window I, life. I think that was the hardest stream. Oh, there might be one more tricky stream right at the end. I don't remember. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> 
Oh no. Misses on the last five note pattern after hitting the first six five note patterns flawlessly. Uh, absolute classic. Window Life just, you know, didn't really want the SC. It was like, you know what? I, nah. I could FC this, no problem, but I'm I'm too cool for that. I'll take my 1.6 million on the Hard Rock 3, which is an absurd score regardless of the miss. <laughs> yeah. um, oh my gosh. You know, canceling out both the scores of comma and minus single handedly. Uh, so that's going to be a really solid point for NorCal. Just goes to show how it can be very, very helpful to have those high skill cap players in these later stated matches because there are going to be certain maps that they can just absolutely take over. A very quick Hard Rock one pick out of Maryland. I really like this. They have been really good on the Hard Rock. And uh, I don't think they should be dissuaded by that Hard Rock three pick. You just have to go back to yeah. what's been comfortable. This is the precision uh precision is it's cs 5.7 so circles a little bit smaller than usual but not quite that cs 6.5 precision that we so often see and it's going to be another alt map we remember um yeah. maryland winning the dt alt pick yep. fairly decisively and so they're going to look to do it again on the hard rock and this is just going to be the same lineup for maryland their go-to uh tried and true hard rock roster of minus comma and monko 2k um i would imagine we see would she stay in for this one? You see trail mix coming in for the uh for the alternating uh alternating map. Yeah. Yeah, trail and, mix is just yeah. a really, really good uh tapping player. So even though trail mix doesn't typically play the hard rock, um is really good at these uh, you know, tapping picks. Uh, this one less I'm not super heavy on the tapping, more alt uh focus, but Trail Mix is really solid on those as well, so no surprises here. Uh, and we should be getting into the Hard Rock one shortly. Ooh. Here we go. All right. Oh, this oh. is a mirror. This is a mirror map, I believe. A mirror map. Like you need to download the the beat map mirror. Oh well, uh, looks like we're loaded in, so uh, everything is okay. Uh, not for Wedgie or Minus, if they have found early misses. Uh, this is another long one, so this is one of those maps where we could very easily see one or two players on either side building up really big combos, and it's just coming down to those one or two big combos into the map, and uh, we, we've just got hit sounds, uh, I guess. We're not trying to get the DMCA'd here, so we're going to get some lovely hit sounds, which is unfortunate, because this is actually kind of a, kind of a banger. Yeah, no bangers allowed in this tournament. Uh, unfortunately, we are gonna listen to. Uh, yeah. le, le, I who? who the, this is some actually very nice hit sounding here. So. Uh, yeah. You, well done. Get to listen. Yeah. Hit sounded yeah. this map, but uh, where we have seen a lot of misses already yeah. <laughs> so far across the board. Maryland has gotten off to a very good early advantage of about fifty thousand points, but. Uh, now we've seen misses from both Minus and Common, despite which he's trading back. Ooh, there there's Monko. Monko. That's the last FC. Trail yeah. Mix and Window Life, as I was about to say, are still on really big combos. Okay, oh my gosh. Trail Mix, but now it is just Window Life. Window Life did it once on the Hard Rock. Can Window Life do it again? That score is going to flip back over as Window Life holds on and looking really good. These alt patterns are really tricky. Accuracy is down at 93 for Window Life, but. Honestly, Kama's the only one with any accuracy whatsoever on Maryland being matched by Trail Mix, so it is actually just even accuracy across the board, and the longer, the longer window life holds, the scarier it gets, and minus Kama again, they just keep chain missing. It is Woodsy, minus, and Kama that are just missing all over the place, whereas Window, Trail, and Monko are having a bit of a better time, but, you know, add it all up, and that's two players on the side of NorCal that are actually putting a combo on this map to the one of Maryland, and there's only a third of the map to go, and... Uh, this is very quickly getting out of control for Maryland. Uh, Window Life needs to miss probably in the next 10 ooh. seconds. There goes Woodshi and Monko 2K again. It's about uh, 100,000 points in favor. There goes Window Life. Is there an avenue open oh, with minus breaking? I think it might be done. The little back and forth patterns. Comma it's did break as well. It's just over 80,000 here. It could go back over though. We did see that score bar flip back over a little bit faster than you might have expected because of some big accuracy drops from NorCal. That missed from Trail Mix as well. Uh, oh, trade it back by Ooh. minus, so it is going to stay even, yeah. but this one's close enough, especially on the hard rock where the combos There's are so low. Cheese. The accuracy matters so much. Big accuracy drops, especially from which she 
are going to make this one close. It's only 60,000 points. Minus some Winston trading. It's going to come down to Window Trail. Monko oh. finds the miss. They needed that combo. Now it is just combo. A comma and Window should be able to close this one out with the support of Trail Mix. And NorCal get their breakpoint right back. And we are once again all tied up. Five to five now. Each team gets one pick before we have ourselves a tiebreaker. And each team better make it a good one. Um, NorCal especially. They're going to be riding off a bit of a high, getting that break point, have some confidence, have some momentum going into their own pick, and they need to win their own pick. I don't think you can, you know, give up a break point here and have Maryland on match point with their own pick. That just gets really scary. And, uh... Yeah, looking at, what, at what's left in the pool here, I believe Nomad 2 and Nomad 3 are still open. Hidden 1 and Hidden 2 are open. All the DTs have been exhausted and all of the hard rocks have been exhausted and free mod two is still left. Uh, so out of those maps, yeah, I, uh, I really don't know. It is tricky. I, I mean, there are maps that I might slightly favor for each team. Um, yeah. But so I would say the Nomad two is probably NorCal favored. Uh, I would say the free mod two is Maryland favored. You do have the 210 BPM bursts that are a little tricky, um, but I think that's a little bit lower BPM than the other speed maps we've seen catch Maryland out. So with mm. that being more so uh, aim focus, especially at the start, I would give Maryland the slight edge. But of course, this is all, you know, these teams have the edge in theory, right? Uh, in practice, yeah. it just comes down to the individual, how they are feeling on the day. While Maryland might have the better aim team on paper, if one of their, you know, typical aim players um, doesn't feel great about a particular map for whatever reason, maybe it just doesn't suit their play style. All of a sudden that map very quickly goes in the other direction. And so, uh, you know, while there are picks for each teams that they should in theory be advantaged on, we have seen the breakpoints uh, go both ways uh, throughout these last four picks. And it's tough. We see the Ooh. HD one out yeah, of it's... NorCal. I'm, I do like this pick because they, again, have looked great at the hidden. This is just slider tech. Uh, and this is another one that could go either way, right? In, in theory, NorCal should have the advantage. They've looked better on the hidden. Um, while they have been losing out on most of the tech picks this match, they have, throughout the rest of the tournament, looked really, really good on tech. And Maryland has a bit of a tougher time putting together a hidden roster. You have Bapal, you have Kama, but... Ama, well, very good on these uh, tech picks. Not traditionally a hidden player, you know, capable of the hidden, uh, but not, probably not quite as good on it as a player like Trail Mix or Wispy. And then we have Monko 2 k who, tournament veteran, but really has not played a lot of hidden throughout this tournament at all. Has been filling on these later stage hiddens, uh, because of course Monko is very, very good on these higher skill caps, but this one could go either way. And this map, is three minutes and 39 seconds of tech we go uh, i've talked about that free mod three tech a little bit easier because the players had the mods this time around everybody has the hidden this is some these are, there is, sorry i i can't speak right now there are some very brutal tech patterns in this map is what i'm trying to say <laughs> we we got through it eventually yeah i i really think that this comes down to there's i believe it's two really big key eye sections that this will most likely come down to and who can hold the better accuracy and combo um through those uh big key eye sections as it is most most of the time the case but uh especially uh, it's just these really um really difficult sections that um we'll see if these players can get through all right, here we go. First, first streams. extreme. We see Monko. The up. Monko 2K is the first miss. We have a little bit of a slower section before we get into the proper first KI. In about 10, 15 seconds from now, we're going to get one more bell up, and it's after this bell up that we really get into the KI section. Yep. Monko has found the early miss, but we're going to see so many more on this KI, so Monko could very easily recover. But Monko, Ooh, Monko. finds another miss before the KI. That's really tricky. Whiskey does trade it back, but. It's been enough time that it is advantage to NorCal. Okay, there goes everybody from Maryland early on. Trail Mix and Window Life holding strong so far. Trail Mix does drop, but 
It is Window Life yet again on the hidden tech now, putting up the big combo as Window Life just putting the team on his back so far for these last three maps and able to hold through the whole first Ki section. There is another very tricky Ki part coming up though. Window Ooh. Life does find the miss and so there is going to be a chance for Maryland. That was what they needed, but they need combos. They don't have anything yeah. right now as Kama finds a miss. Monko has found one earlier. That falls on 200, but it's not much. It's still Trail Mix with the highest combo. Trail Mix has oh, miss, but Kama and Bath Ball. So there's just no recovery on Maryland and Halfway through the map, there's one more Ki section left, and unless by some miracle, Maryland can get through that Ki section with at least two of their combos, it's probably just going to be the point for NorCal. It is deceptively close, though, because yep. uh, Maryland has actually a pretty sizable accuracy advantage with the 98 97 for Bat Ball Kama. And so 100,000 points is very doable, but they need to perform much better than they have been on the earlier parts of this map. They need Window Life to find some key misses. Probably early on in this Ki section because we could see Window Life get through this Ki section again. And uh, if Window Life gets through the Ki, I'm not sure there's anything Maryland can do. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, it's just about 110,000 points building up again. These double patterns. Uh, hopefully nobody getting caught out by, uh, by these doubles here. And it's building up. We see the streams coming. See if, anybody drops, yeah, see if anybody drops any accuracy. And here we go into this final section. Deucey Wispy finding a break. Batball and Monko holding on to the big combos on the side of Maryland. It is going to start to come over. Kama did find a break. There goes Window Life and Wispy and Monko Bat as well. Bat yeah, it's Batball Trail Mates right now. Kama and Monko 2K do reset as well. Window Life finding another break. It's just these two combos to see who's going to fall first. It They're is. So oh, it's eighty thousand. There goes Batball. Yeah, Trail Mix. Trail Mix is holding on here, and they're gonna be going up six to five over Maryland. NorCal. Trail Mix did find a break. It's actually not gonna be enough because they're everybody's everybody's just resetting on both sides, and it's gonna be just under uh, about one hundred thirty thousand for NorCal here. Uh, coming into the end um, end of the map, and Maryland going to be needing to find the pick for them to take this to tiebreaker. NorCal going up 6-5 to five in this best of 13. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and just Trail Mix Window Life were able to put up uh, very good combos, but Wispy as well. You know, even those players that aren't in for many maps playing key roles for this team, uh, very importantly, able to match uh, roughly the score from Monko 2K, uh, not putting them super far behind on that third player is going to keep them uh, close enough to let Window Life and Tromex get just enough uh, to put NorCal on match point. But of course, that was their pick. That was one they were expected to win. And we're going to get the Nomad Ooh. 3 pick out of Maryland this is going to be the alt pick and this is interesting they did win the uh dt4 and i th think they won the uh the other alt map as well the uh the uh dt4 no uh, we had the dt4 oh um <laughs> it that's was an alt map the... <laughs> <laughs> uh free mode or uh, hard rock one Yes, the Hard Rock won the, uh, and the DT4. Other two alt maps did both go over to Maryland. This time on the No Mod, I think, is going to be a, a bit more... It's going to be a bit better for NorCal, right? Maryland, you expect to have advantage on the high AR uh, DT alt picks. You expect them to have an advantage on the Hard Rock with uh, Kama especially, but on the No Mod, that's not really the case. And so both teams have very capable alt players, Trail Mix, we could very well see Wispy stay in for this one. Uh, there is a little, a little bit of concern about scaling for Wispy and if uh, Wispy can keep up with the scaling of this pool, but Wispy kind of has been that go-to third alt player for NorCal, is really good at some of these more game control picks, and so I think Wispy is going to be a solid third for them. And on the side of Maryland, Monko, Falk, Kama, or NorCal, Trail Mix, Window Life, and Wachi, Six players that are going to be deciding very shortly if we are going to a tiebreaker or if Maryland's run ends here. 
Uh, this being the alt pick, it is a different style of alt pick than what we've seen before. This being an LMT map, be seeing a lot more of these geometrical patterns. CS 4.5 as well. Um, so again, bigger circles on the, or smaller circles on the alt here, as we saw as well in Hard Rock 1. Uh, hopefully we're able to get the song in. Uh, yeah, I may just need to restart the client. We are getting that restart now. And, and uh, I... Not sure if they're into the map or we did uh, get them to hold off for a moment while we get the client refreshed. Uh, we do see so the players, but we don't see the map. This is time of res. It is a very mm. long map at 4 minutes and 10 seconds, but uh, client is maybe just not, not having it with this one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I hear it. Gameplay. Okay. Amazing. Four players, we'll take it. All right, we'll get the other two players later, but the key is that we see misses for Trail Mix, uh, early miss for Wudgy, and it looks like Window Life is still on a really big combo. Uh, Monko matching Trail Mix, and right now it is only Monko's score displaying, so everything comes down to what these uh, other two players for Maryland have. Hopefully we can get them loaded in, because right now it's just Monko 1v3, which is why the score is so lopsided, and... Uh, not loading. What she does find a miss that could be big. Yeah. That is a big combo down, but uh, honestly, hard to say. Uh, every miss could potentially be big. Trail Ooh, miss. Trail mix. Trail mix doesn't matter too much. Actually, it wasn't a huge combo. Uh, window life is on 900. It's absolutely massive. I mean, the question is, is anybody matching window life? We don't know. Kama could be matching. Oh, uh, it's another double break from uh, Trail Mix and Wood she here. Uh, yeah. Window. Mon yeah. Monko's on a really good recovery combo, and. If Kama or Batfall are matching Window Life, it's... Oh, there goes Window Life. Monko trades it back. Oh, okay. And uh, we don't... Is there a combo on Batfall or Kama? No one knows. The anticipation builds here. This is... Oh, I big mean, break from Window Life. Okay. We get the, but yeah, the players are just not showing in the lobby at all. That's the worst time for the client to do client things. And this is a big stream. Those streams are really tricky. Honestly, can't imagine too many players from the side of Maryland held on through that one. But if anyone, surely it could be Kama. There's just resets over and over for NorCal. Yeah, uh, it, 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 it would have to be about 550 combo that... Um, I believe it was Batball and Kama would be having to make up right now, which isn't too crazy to think about. I don't, th I don't think it would be, but uh, definitely a big ask uh, for those two players. Yeah, As we I mean, are getting the last section of the map here. Yeah, we do have the MP pulled up here. So as soon as they finish, uh, we will know the scores. If you guys want to find out at the same time, click on the MP link, exclamation point MP in chat. Map is over, scores are taking a moment. Oh, not quite over. Uh, client is just falling apart. Okay, now the okay. map is over. We wait a moment, hold your breath. Blue team wins it, we're going to tiebreaker. Oh, oh my goodness. It was Kama <laughs> on 415,000 points, Monko oh. on 380,000, and Batball also on 380,000. It did come down to uh, what, what she just...
was made around the time when Mazarin was experimenting with slider shapes because this was in uh this was a tiebreaker for owc 2021 uh many would know the famous uh match where um i'm a fancy lad disconnected during the tiebreaker um but the u.s still won <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, it's gonna be a fun one this tiebreaker is uh Five minutes 46 so could be a long one and uh we do have a bit of a timeout for both teams uh two minutes and 30 seconds that was about a minute ago so we've got about a minute and a half left of that uh of that break uh and so what are we thinking for lineups here because i think if you're norcal you have to put window life in that is of a course. Given. Of um, course but the other two players are slightly less clear i think chances are good you have trail mix, but uh, I could see what she in for this one. I could see Jackson. Um, probably not going to see Wispy here. Yeah, I think it's some combination of trail mix, Jackson, or would she? Um, yeah, okay, so it's going to be uh, yeah. Jackson over would she. Honestly, I think Jackson or would she could make sense. Uh, lineup for Maryland, I think, is a lot more clear. You have to put in Kama, without a doubt. You have yeah. to put in Monko for this one. Uh, <laughs> and third player is probably uh, just going to... Actually, honestly, I could see it being uh, Fatball, or I could see it being Kodama as well. Um, traditionally, yeah. this has been more of a Batball-style map than Kodama, who's just been in for the, the hidden, so... I think, okay, Fatball is in the lobby, so oh, okay. in that case, it looks like we are just waiting on Monko 2K. There we are. Yep. Six players in the lobby. Oh. Six points on each team and one map left to be played. The winner, of course, goes on to play South California. They will guarantee themselves a spot in top four, and they will have the chance to advance of course to that top three. Oh no not again no we we're, can't be we're doing this again okay no, we're in we're, we're in the map we're in the map the client is working oh, and we're client. gonna watch this tiebreaker client has done it applause in the chat for the client and uh yeah no surprise that we're not gonna see any preference hidden uh, on this one none of these players are uh really too in favor but we do see the aim very early on. Uh, I do know that you do start to see a little bit more tapping and tech you see with these sliders as you get later into the map. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of map to go and it's a long one with a lot of tricky sections. So there's gonna be a lot of different points we can, uh, we do see breaks and on a long map like this, um, where you do see some chain misses like Window Life there, who did find five or six misses well as some hundreds, accuracy could play a real role. Um, when these maps are super long, the Two, potentially 3% accuracy difference start to matter so much more, especially oh, when Monko traded back by Window Life. That trade will favor yeah. NorCal, but there goes Jackson, not traded back by anyone. And okay, there goes Batball, there goes yeah. Monko, there goes Jackson. Now it is just one FC to one. Never mind, Kyle oh. a big miss. It's it is gonna be Trail Mix holding on. Yeah, it's Trail Mix holding on here into these awkward, um, into this awkward slider section. I mean, you have to keep in mind with these longer maps, even the trail mix, 700 combo ahead of anybody else, the score goes back over so slowly because of how long the map is. So uh, it shouldn't be any huge advantage for NorCal unless we just see them, con unless we just see Maryland continue to find chain misses and Kama has found it up with them, has followed it up with another miss, whereas NorCal has started to recover really nicely. So a uh, quarter of the way into the map, things are looking good for NorCal, but they cannot Ooh. take their foot off the gas. There goes a double miss, but there goes oh, trail mix, trail mix. the SC down. Yeah. You still have Window Life in Jackson, but this gives Maryland a window back into this one. They have a chance. The opportunity is there. They've got Monko on the big combo. If we see Window Life and Jackson drop, Monko will bring them right back into it. It's only 40,000, but Batball oh. and Common need to stop missing. They're not having a good time on this one so far. And it's just, there goes Jackson. Mm -hmm. There's one down. They it's need one more, though. Yeah, it's just about 50,000. They see the scores here a third of the way through the map. Nobody's gonna miss on the on the yeah. uh, repeat slider. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> okay, it didn't happen so far. If somebody no. misses on the repeat slider, you know. 
I swear to God. <laughs> hey, you never know. Okay, there wiggle goes wiggle life. life. That is a really tough wiggle. Yeah, this more uh, one thirds or all two. It, it's an old map. See, they're 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 going through the alt section. Your bat ball going to be finding a big chain miss. It's Monko and Kama building up the combos. Jackson is going to find another miss. The combos are actually very much in favor. Kama did find a miss of Maryland here. It's trail mix just about 400 combo behind Monko here. Monko hits that pattern. Oh okay, my gosh. That was... Monko got hundreds on every single jump in that jump pattern. Very nearly under aimed it, but holds on. And that should bring the score lead back over to the side of Maryland. I imagine with so many misses and so many tough points. Oh, there goes trail mix. This is yeah, really that, big. Monko that was the... good. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All, all you, all you. Oh, Monko, Trail Mix was the only hope there. Monko is going to be finding a break on this slower stream section. Kama is building up about a 400 combo as well as Window Life here. It is still on the side of NorCal. It's only about three or four thousand, uh, three or four thousand points here. Uh, one third of the map left. Another break from Batball. It's Kama versus Window Life in this section. Oh my gosh, Kama almost. What is Kama doing to these sliders? Okay. Hey, it works, okay? Oh no, oh, it doesn't no. work. Okay, but Trail Nix trades it, and all of a sudden it is Window Life versus Monko. But Window Life, 500 in the lead. Jackson does find the miss as well, so that's going to help out Maryland a little bit. And this map is so long that we're likely to see the combo advantage traded back and forth quite a few more times. This slow section yeah. is fantastic for NorCal. They're going to take all the free combo they can get. The farther, the longer Window Life can hold on to this combo, the better things look, the more dire things get. Batball has been struggling so far, just getting to 200,000 now. Uh, Jackson not far ahead though. Mm -hmm. It is even accuracy across the board, so that's not really going to be a factor in this one. I think it's realistically going to come down to Window Life versus Monko into the ending. Oh, there Monko goes Monko. Window oh. Life managed to hold on. There are some big jumps here. If Window Life can hold on through these jumps, it's gonna be looking really good for NorCal. Window oh, Life finds the miss. Found a slight of break and Trail Mix and Jackson just have about over 300 combo. It's 40,000 in favor of North Carolina right now. Batball and Monko recovering. Kama has the top combo in the lobby just in front of Trail Mix, but Trail Mix is pretty much nullifying it right now as it's still 30,000 points in favor of North Carolina coming into this very tricky slider and stream section with just a few jumps intermix. Kama has to hold on. Window life. Oh, Monko's holding on to combo. It's going back over slowly. Maryland has the big combo. There goes Batball. That's huge. If Trail Mix finds the miss in the end, it could go back over in a heartbeat. It's still big advantage for Maryland. Look at the score bar going over. Monko and Kama both need to hold. It's Jackson. Trail Mix misses. It's Kama and Monko. Oh my gosh. Everybody is missing in the ending. It's a full reset, but accuracy goes to North Carolina and they win it. 20,000 points into the ending. Maryland had the chance, but Kama missed the entire burst into the ending. So unfortunate. Huge congratulations to NorCal, just barely pulling it out. Uh, Trail Mix and Window Life especially, putting up huge combos on that map. They are going to be moving on to the next stage of Loser's Bracket, and we are going to have a California battle for that last grand final spot. But man, you have to give credit to Maryland as well. Kama and Monko especially, they have put up some absurd scores throughout this match. Honestly, could have very easily seen either of these teams in the top three of this tournament and being competitive in doing so. So just heartbreak for them into the ending of that tiebreaker, but they've had a very good performance this, uh, this USC, and I have a feeling they are going to be back next year strong as ever. So, wow. Oh, yeah. It's such good scores on both sides. This is such a difficult map. So you got to give props to all the players on Maryland. They put everything out in that last map. But it just, NorCal just also just played so well and was able to take the match there right at the end. Yeah, and uh. that is, again, 
Congrats, unfortunate. Uh, exit for Maryland. They played their hearts out, but they will be eliminated. This means we have got NorCal versus SoCal the next match, and that is going to be at 3 UTC in 20 minutes from now. That is going to be a good one. Oh. And okay. you have to think, right? These NorCal <laughs> players have just played an absurdly long match. They've just gone to tiebreaker. Um, the SoCal team, if they've been watching, are going to have a lot of information to work with. They've seen NorCal play 13 different maps. That's a lot of information to work with. We'll see if they can use it uh, to their advantage, but uh, it's going to be a very scary one either way. So we are going to be taking a bit of a break here, probably for about uh, 15, 20 minutes or so as we get a new lobby set up. We get these SoCal players and so Hope to see you guys all there. Uh, we should have two new casters, I believe, for the next match. Uh, should be Chillier and Miles. That is always a banger cast oh, that yeah. you do not want to miss. So, I have an iFlame joined by Juno. Thank you to Rob for the stream, and thank you all for watching. We will see you guys in 20 minutes. Stay tuned hey. and take care. See you then.